y'all. <laughs> Cafe Americano. Don't talk to me in the morning before I've had my coffee, because I need a little something to jolt me awake before the day makes me die inside. I stayed up late last night watching the greatest show on earth, Democracy, and afterward I couldn't sleep, just stared at the insides of my eyelids which acted like TV screens flashing Trump. Trump. And today I'm forced to face an unfathomable reality while my hands are forced to continue in their routine as though the world hasn't ended. I begin making my coffee, jump to gr dump the grounds into a pot like a ballot in a box, add water and pressure from swing states like I'm a barista by trade. We ground up our presidential candidates, delivered it on the menu we've read a thousand times, but we fell back on our regular order. Two party, white light cream, decaf. The pot screams and drips condensation like sweat, stress sweat on the first Tuesday of November, pours, and by January, the liquid has cooled into battery acid sludge. It's orange. Now we must swallow what we've brewed. You bet it's bitter. No cream or sugar to get rid of that bite. Everything is just burned. Coffee, the House, Senate, Supreme Court, Oval Office. It tastes like molten metal sliding down my throat, leaving a trail of incinerated flesh. It's so sharp that words bubble up like blisters, red and raw, left unsaid because they feel like choking. But we take another sip, give Trump endless coverage on CNN, count down the minutes till his next press conference, refresh Twitter to get that buzz that comes from mild rage about the status quo. What is wrong with this drink? Do people secretly covet awful coffee? That would explain Starbucks. <laughs> Maybe in Canada, Starbucks is better. I wish I was in Quebec right now so I could try their French roast, oui, oui. Everything is better in Canada. Justin Trudeau wouldn't turn away any blend. Darker blonde roast imported from Colombia. Coffee was originally the drink of Turkish Muslims. Canada accepts refugees with warmth, unlike President Trump who wants to build a wall higher than the counter that separates me from a disgruntled Starbucks employee who will mess up my drink. Only Trump's wall is built on the foundations of xenophobia. Over half of us didn't order this. By some cruel twist of fate, the Electoral College wrote the wrong name on our cup, scribbled it in Russian characters. I demand a refund. I fear for my fellow Americans who weren't born here, whose sex doesn't match their gender, and who work every day for a better life, but might have it taken away, but most of all, I'm afraid for the people who cast their vote and legitimized hate, because soon they'll find out that even though they won, they lost. A nauseating number of people in this country loved every acrid drop of this campaign and drank it gleefully because they low-key support grabbing women by the coffee. In the next four years, our country will have one type of brew. It will be called Joe, light and white in color, oppressive in flavor. We brewed this. Cafe Americano.